Hi internet, welcome to the session. Uh, today we are going to see basis change. That means uh, if we have a two vector spaces with the two different bases, if we want to change from one basis to, add to the other, what to do? Assume we have uh, two vector spaces V and uh, W. So these are the vectors, uh, vector spaces V and uh, W. And inside V we have uh, two different basis vectors. This is set B and uh, B cap. Okay. And in W, we have two vector spaces, uh, two basis vectors, two set of basis vectors C and uh, C cap. Okay. Hope you remember what is uh, basis vectors. We, uh, using basis vectors, we can represent all other vectors in the vector space. So um, uh, that is using B, using the vectors inside B. I can represent all the vectors in the vector space V. And similarly, in B cap, we have a set of basis vectors. And using those vectors, I can represent all the vectors in B. Okay, that is basis vectors. And uh, we can transform uh, the uh, vectors from one basis to the other. Suppose uh, I want to transform from B to C. Okay, they are belonging to two different vector spaces. And uh, the transformation function I apply here is A5. For example, we take it as A5. Okay, so transformation from B to C, vector space is B, uh, basis vector uh, B to basis vector C. We use the transformation function A5. And uh, from B cap to C cap, we use the A5 cap uh, transformation matrix. And there are uh, there can be internal transformations from one vector space one base to the other. Okay, inside V I can transform from B uh, cap to B or B to B cap. Okay, so for the transformation from B cap to B we use the transformation function S transformation matrix S, and from C cap to C we use the transformation matrix T. Okay, so we have uh, uh, defined uh, four transformation matrices. Fi, Fi cap, S and T. Okay. So, uh, assume we have a vector X represented in the in the basis B cap. Okay. And we want to convert it into C cap. Okay. Vector, so basis vector C cap. And uh, what to do? How to transform uh, to W with the base C cap? How do we do that? Okay, and there is one constraint here is we can transform from basis vector to the other basis vector. So, when we take any vector space, there will be one basis set, basis uh, vector set. And we have to, uh, um, we can directly map from um, basis vectors, one basis vector to the other basis vector. So, here B and C are the uh, standard basis vectors. So, this transformation is directly possible standard basis vector to the other uh, standard basis vector and what is standard basis vector means uh, if you take any vector space suppose you take uh, x and y the standard basis vectors um, they are going in the direction of uh, the uh, standard axis okay that means if you have a x and y axis here Okay, so one vector will be going through x-axis and the other one will be going to the y-axis. So those kind of uh, uh, basis vectors are called the standard basis vectors. Okay, uh, or you can take basis vectors in this direction and uh, in this direction. So those are not uh, basis vectors. Okay, they, they, uh, sorry, they are not the standard basis vectors. Okay. So here in this example, B and uh, C are the standard uh, basis set. Then how to convert this X into uh, C cap, basis C cap. Okay. So for that, first we have to, we, we start with the X, uh, vector X on B cap. And it has to be converted to the standard basis B. Okay. So X has to be converted to B, basis B. And from B, we can convert it into C. Okay, so from this we can apply Fi and uh, we get C uh, vector in C basis. Then we can convert it into C cap, basis C cap. So that's how we are going to do the transformation. Okay, so um, and we have defined the uh, transformation matrices for all these. 
okay so we are going to define afi cap in terms of the other three uh, transformation matrices okay that's what we are going to do so um, we have the vector x on b cap and uh, when we apply this transformation matrix we will get it in b okay so we multiply x with uh, x uh, s and x okay s is the transformation matrix and x is our vector so after this we get the vector in uh, basis b okay then uh, from there we have to transfer from b to c so for tra that transformation we have to apply it with fi so the uh, uh, new vector has to be uh, multiplied with fi so fi into sx will give you the vector x in uh, c basis c okay and uh, from there we have to convert it into c cap so uh, here the uh, transformation matrix t is defined for uh, transforming from c cap to c okay then we here we want to do the reverse thing we want to transform from c to c cap so what we have to do is we have to take the inverse of this uh, transformation matrix t so we'll take t inverse and that is multiplied with the fi into sx okay so finally we'll get the um, vector in uh, vector space uh, in the uh, basis vector c cap Okay, and uh, remember we are uh, uh, taking B and C as the standard basis vectors. So the same thing um, I have written in uh, statements. So you can go through these statements if you want. Then the transformation matrix uh, for B cap and C cap is uh, defined like this AFI cap and AFI cap can be defined like this a T inverse into AFI into S okay uh, so uh, that means if you have any vector uh, in uh, b cap okay if you have any vector in b cap suppose you have x over here and if you want to transform it into uh, c cap so what you have to do you have to multiply it with the t inverse uh, a phi yes okay into x cap so this will give you the corresponding vector in c cap basis okay so you have to multiply this with the x vector x so we'll get the corresponding vector. okay so that means first we apply the transformation s yes. uh, so we get the uh, vector in uh, uh, base b then we apply a phi on that vector on that new vector so we get uh, the vector in c then we apply T inverse, so we get it in C cap. Okay, that is happening. Then the basic notations we have used here for B, uh, B is equal to the basis vectors B1, B2, etc. Bn. B cap is equal to B1 cap, B2 cap, etc. Bn cap. Then uh, C is equal to C1, C2, etc. Cm. C cap is equal to C1 cap, C2 cap, etc. Cm. So uh, here the dimension is uh, M, N. Okay, for vector space V, the dimension is N because we have N basis vectors here, N basis vectors. And here the uh, dimension is M. Okay, so here dimension is M because we have M different basis vectors. Here dimension is N. Okay. Then for the transformation from B cap to B, we use the transformation matrix S. Okay. And the S is belonging to? Um, R, uh, R N by N. Okay, because both the, uh, we are transforming from B cap to B. Okay, so both the uh, bases have N basis, N basis vector. So it is N by N. Okay, so this is for B and this is for B cap. The dimension of B and dimension of uh, B cap. Okay. Then, uh, in order to uh, do the transformation, B1 cap is equal to S11 B1 plus S21 B2, etc. SN1 BN. So, how do we get it like this? Suppose we have the transformation matrix S like this. And in order to find out B1, okay, B1 represents the first row, first uh, column. B2 represents second column. B3 represents third column like that. So, in order to find out B1 cap, we have to take the first column. Okay, first column, first element into B1 plus uh, first column, second element into B2 
plus etc so how how it goes okay up to the last element in this column and that is multiplied with the bn so how, that's how we get a b1 cap okay then similarly uh, we have defined the transformation matrix t for the transformation from c cap to c okay so for the reverse transformation uh, we use t inverse from c to c cap we use t inverse and t is a uh, r m by m okay m by m because uh, this is for uh, c cap and uh, for c both the dimensions are m so it is a m by m matrix we use to represent t then um, uh, in the same way we find out the um, c1 cap or uh, c cap c c1 or c1 cap here just like uh, this operation or just like uh, this linear uh, combination we can find out c1 cap also or c1 okay and just, just take an example so suppose s is equal to 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 and b is equal to 1 0 0 0 1 0 and uh, 0 0 1 okay so these uh, rep represents vector b1 b2 and b3 so these are the three basis vectors in uh, b uh, then to convert a b cap to uh, b what we do is b1 cap is equal to uh, 1 into uh, 1 into uh, 1 0 0 plus 1 into 0 1 0 plus 0 into uh, 0 0 1 so this is actually uh, representing the first element over here and this one represents the second element over here and this zero is the third element over here okay so we multiplied and uh, we get b1 cap like this one one zero zero okay so here we get b1 cap in terms of b1 uh, b1 b2 sorry b1 b2 etc uh, and b3 okay so this is the representation for b1 cap so it is uh, just a simple example okay that's all about um, uh, basis changes.